As the hot Houston summer blazes on, we all need to find a way to keep cool. This morning, meteorologist and craft beer guru, Justin Stapleton, so is kind. back with the north side watering hole on this weekend, week's episode of KPRC 2 Plus on tap. Apparently, I came overdressed, Justin. Well, you know, listen, that, you know what? The heat's not the only thing that's hot. How about them strows? I know. Huh? How about them strows? Had to wear it today because of this as well. Not just because of JV, but from it just throwing yes, just which I'm fire super psyched last about. Night. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, we've got a great spot. In fact, the interesting thing about this, this is a north side spot right off of the 4800 block of North Shepherd. And if you zip past it, you'll probably miss it, but you shouldn't because A, it's got really good beer. I wouldn't be showing it to you if it didn't. Uh, and two, it's under new management as well. So there's gonna be a lot of changes coming up over the next uh, six months or or so. Curious cool. to find out what it is? Yeah, I definitely am. Okay, here we go. The, what's the overall vibe or the philosophy here at Astro Brewery? We're pretty relaxed. Um, it's a pretty, you know, comfortable vibe. My wife and I, we have two small children, six and four. Um, so one thing we want to really promote is that families with young children can come. We're kind of setting up in the back of kid play area. We've got a couple couches on the way. Um, you know, really the place where you can just come, relax, listen to good music, hang out with your friends and you know, have a few beers. Uh, we specialize in hazies and West Coast IPAs, and I've always loved Pilsners, Kolsch's lighter beers. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows this, but it actually gets hot here in it Houston. Does, for a long time. 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 Long time. So a nice light beer would certainly be a good thing for folks to start with here. Um, tell us what we've got here. This is our Kraftwerk Kolsch. Um, if you've had it before, I've kind of tweaked the recipe a little bit. Um, the malt stayed about the same, added a little bit of wheat for sweetness and changed the hops. It used to be Czech saws, which are kind of spicy and grassy, mm -hmm. and I switched those to Hallertau middle fruit. So it's a nice herbal, earthy, with some spice. You know, light, light bodied, thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, just try to make it crushable for summer. What you want next? Uh, this is Sunship. Sunship, okay. Sunship right. is our West Coast IPA. Okay. So I get a lot of orange, mango. Mm -hmm. You can smell it. Yeah, and, and yeah it, I mean, it's right there, yeah. And, you know, when IPAs first became popular, they were extremely bitter, and the new style is more, don't make them as bitter, but, yeah. you know, really have a lot wow. of flavor and aroma in there. That is exceptional. Thank you. That's very good. Where do you see Astral going? You know, we're going to introduce some new beers now, which will be also carried on. We're going to continue to pr produce um, the Psychonaut and Sunship and the Pub GB and we might change the names, but the beers will be pretty much the same. And then, you know, adding in kind of beers as we, as I talk to customers, see what they want and, you know, produce those too. Here's, so you're like telling me you all see, the ones huh? that I was gonna like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. I'm a girl when it comes to beer, but it looked like they have really good options for me too. They really do, yeah. The cool thing is, so Sam, that's the owner that you saw. He and his wife just bought Astral a couple of months ago, and so they're still working through some of the changes that they need to make. Don't worry, they're gonna keep some of the old stalwarts there as well. He, he wanted to make sure that we that we'd let everybody know that uh, if you've been up to Astral. But uh, because they have small children as well, they're actually yeah. gonna start expanding and making it much more family-friendly, dog-friendly as well. Well, as you and I were just talking during the story there with the little yeah. ones, it's like it's hard. Where we're do you not going to hire a babysitter so we can go to a brewery for right. an hour or two. So okay. thank you for making it family friendly. It's the only way I get out of the house. I hear you. <laughs> I remember those days for sure. Hey, listen, uh, this is just one of all different kinds of spots, Haley. We're going all over Southeast Texas. So you've already been to some. We've You're been, yeah, we've been to a couple. Uh huh. We're going to be uh, down in Galveston. We're going up to Huntsville, Conroe. We're going to go out west, down to Kima, one of the great distilleries down there. So if you 
you've got a spot, if you have a spot at home that you want us to try in your neighborhood, uh, shoot me an email, hit me up on the DMs on Instagram, Facebook as well, and cool. uh, we'll do our best to uh, put it on the list here. But uh, there's a lot on tap around cool. Greater Houston, and we are so Well, my suggestion would be the Galveston one, so I'm pretty sure that I know where you went. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good We're one. We're going to hit it for sure. That's right. Cool. Thanks, Justin. You Appreciate betcha. it.